So next up in our uh, mandatory Thanksgiving recipes is mashed potatoes. So today we've got these Klondike Rose potatoes. We just uh, rinsed them off, cut them up, left the skins on and everything. And we're gonna throw them in the steamer and about 40 minutes and then uh, grind them up and then we'll do some uh, special things with them. Uh, we'll uh, throw these into the steamer I'm going to do that right now, make y'all watch. Hopefully I can do this without knocking any on the floor. Okay. So, 40 minutes. And there we go. And then I will come back and show you guys the secrets. See you then. Alright, we're back again. Um, it's not really a secret, I guess, my mashed potatoes. It's something I happened upon. Put a fourth cup of uh, nutritional yeast in it. Makes it really good. Um, I did that one time trying to make it seem cheesy or whatever. And so I've got my uh, four potatoes cut up here. They're rather large. Um, put them in the bowl. Got three fourths of a cup of water, that to it, and a fourth cup of nutritional yeast. Just putting in the metal bowl for now. And then I'm going to go ahead and hit it with the mixer. All right, so there we are. We have our nice creamy mashed potatoes. Took about two minutes to make, well, plus the time in the steamer, but you know, so be it. And uh, I'm gonna go ahead and throw that into one of our crock pot bins here and let it sit on the warmer until we're ready to eat it. And then I'll be back with you guys with something else here shortly. Actually, we were uh, thinking about making up some orange rolls. So a little uh, impromptu uh, uh, decision making, I guess. <laughs> So, we're gonna make up some orange rolls. I'm basically gonna take a whole orange and grind it up in our Blendtec blender, make a yeast roll out of it, and we'll bake that. So, I'll be back to show you that in a minute. Bye.